Hi there teachers. The purpose of this video is to show you how to share your screen during a Zoom conference so that you can share slideshows, videos, even host a quiz game such as a Kahoot um, through your online lesson. So first of all, in my Zoom settings, I need to make sure that the in meeting setting that allows screen share is turned on and then below that you determine who can share mine is set to host only so that i'm the only one who's sharing but if i was going to have students share projects through a zoom meeting i would need to change that to all participants now once you have started your meeting your controls at the bottom of the screen is where you need to look to be able to share your screen because we have enabled the screen share. So when I share my screen, it gives me the choices of what I'll be sharing. And that's going to depend on which particular application you want to share. Um, if I only want to share things that are in Google Chrome, that will limit the student's ability to see all of the things on my computer. I'm going to click on just Google Chrome. So now I'm actually sharing my slideshow. I could also share, a, for example, a YouTube video that's in my Chrome browser. Um, I might show a different kind of video that's also in the browser, um, maybe a study jam or a brain pop. And then I could even launch a Kahoot quiz or something similar to that because that is in the browser as well. When I'm launching it from my screen, the students are going to have to go on their own device and enter the code for the quiz. Just like they normally would when we're in the classroom. Since I'm sharing my screen with them, they're going to have to figure out how to minimize that screen so that they can have another tab to get into or else do it on two different devices. If I was sharing something that was directly on my desktop rather than in the browser, then I would want to change my screen share to desktop. And that would allow the students to see everything that's on my desktop. I could also choose to share what's coming from another device through these other options. If I want to be a little fancier, I could click on the advanced options and I would be able to choose just the particular portion of my screen that I want to share. I could share just the audio from the computer rather than the audio and video. Or I could use something like a document camera um, if, say, maybe I'm a math teacher and I'm showing how to work out a problem. So from the viewpoint of the student, when we have the screen share on, they're going to be seeing what we're showing. And as I go through the slides, they don't have control of those slides unless I've given them the link to the slides separately. So as I go through slides, they're seeing it as I'm moving through it. If they need to be able to control something on their own computer, then they would need to hit an escape button to minimize out of that screen. Um, on certain computers, the Zoom app is a totally separate window, but on Chromebooks, a lot of times it'll be one of the Chrome browser tabs. So when they minimize out, they'll be able to see their other tabs. And it may be that I have, um, have instructed them to pull up a document to do some work on, or I might have instructed them to go to Kahoot and be ready to put in the game pen. So when we are ready to stop sharing our screen, we would go back to our tools for Zoom. And under the share button, we could just stop share. Hopefully that gives you some ideas of how you can use screen sharing through the Zoom app to enhance your distance learning lessons.